Do you have more than one Google Drive account that you need to sync to your PC? I'll show you how you can do that. Backup and Sync is an amazing tool that allows you to sync your cloud files to your PC. For a long time, you can only sync one account at a time without paying for some service that would allow you to synchronize multiple accounts. A little while ago, Google added the ability to sync more than one account at a time. Let's go ahead and take a look at this new feature. Take a look at your taskbar in the lower right hand corner of your screen. If you've already installed Backup and Sync, then you should have a little cloud shaped icon in the taskbar. This will look a little bit different for Mac users, but it should work out the same way. I already have two accounts synced, so there are two cloud icons. Click on the cloud icon and a small window should pop up. In the upper right corner of the pop up, Click the three dot menu icon, then select add new account. A new window will open to start the process. Click on the get started button. Then sign into the Google account that you want to sync. Once you've successfully logged in, You'll see a message that tells you that these new files can be found in the Computers tab in your Drive account online. Click on Got It to proceed. On the next screen you're presented with some options, starting with which folders you want to sync. It has some default folders checked. You can leave those checked or select new folders. I've already got these folders and other folders synced to a different account, so for this one I'm going to uncheck these options and select a different folder. To the right, it shows us that Drive will be backing up all the files and folders in this location. If we click on Change, we'll see that we have the ability to tell it more specifically which files and folders we want to sync. We can choose to only back up photos and videos, or click on Advanced Settings and add specific types of files that we don't want to be included. Maybe you don't want any PDF files to back up to this account. You can just add .pdf in the box and click on add. Now files with this extension won't be backed up. Next we have an option for photo backups. If you choose high quality you'll get a slightly compressed version of your images backed up but it won't count towards your storage quota. The images still look good, so this is a pretty nice option to have, so you can take as many pictures as you want without worrying about space. If you need the original, full quality image backed up, you can select that instead, but it will count towards the space you have available. The last option at the bottom is for Google Photos. If you check this, Google Photos will track and organize images backed up for this account. There's also a network setting option at the bottom here but 99% of people don't need to worry about that. And that's a true statistic I made up, by the way. Now we can click on Next and we're done with this part. What we just did was tell Drive what files from our computer that we want to sync up to the cloud. Now we're going to tell it what we want to come down from the cloud. So click on Got It. And we're presented with a very similar looking window. By default, it will sync everything from your My Drive folder which is everything you have in the account. If you uncheck the box, only files you add to your folder on the PC will be synced up. Nothing added directly to the cloud will be synced down. For syncing down, it has a default location where the files will be stored on your computer. You can change that if you wish. The last step is to choose if you want all of your My Drive files downloaded or just certain ones. Make your selection then click on Start. You'll see a new cloud icon in your taskbar, and it should be displaying the rotating arrows, indicating that it's synchronizing. And that's it! You now have more than one Google account synced to your computer. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, click on the Like button, or share it with somebody else who might like it. Maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in another video.